hunted is running through dungeons and killing monsters with really cool swords and really cool weapons and amazing spells and magic and special effects. It's a modern co-op cover-based action game set in this rich fantasy world. The story is a story of Kadok and Alora, who are mercenaries, and they're just looking for their next job. At, at the beginning of the game, Kadok is having these dreams and visions of this character, Seraphin, who's giving him advice on what he should do. That liquid just may save your life. Following those dreams, they come into the town of Dyfed, just like they've come into a hundred towns before, looking for the next quest. Upon getting into the town, they realize things are not exactly what they expected. There's this race of war guard, these enemy creatures that are grabbing the people to town, and all the people in the world are being herded up. We don't really know why, and the characters don't know why. Seraphin's really encouraging the players to figure out what's going on and try to stop it from happening. This would be a great spot to do it. Come to me. Really, at the beginning of the game, it's pretty straightforward, but as they get deeper into it, they find that there's more going on. Let's see what this beast's corpse can tell us. And people see it at first, they go, oh, you know, elven woman with the bow and the big guy with the shield. We wanted to sort of turn the cliche on its head. We wanted to cast her personality against what you might think you were getting by looking at her. Better to concern yourself with where we should head next. She is the bloodthirsty one rushing in there. She's just always ready to get Kadok into trouble, and Kadok is always like, Damn it, girl, I warned you! And it's the, it's the interesting juxtaposition of his personality versus what you think you're going to get by just looking at him that makes him an interesting character. Did you hear scurrying? What if I did? I don't like things that scurry. Both characters really have their main ability. You know, Kadok, his main ability is melee. Alara, her main ability is ranged. They both have the ability to use magic spells. So we have to make sure that they not only played well with each other from the design perspective, but also that the skills worked on their own. And the combination of their different personalities and their different skills, that became one of the central themes of the game, was this concept of, of co-op and the players working together. Elara, we should move. We're exposed out here. Whether it's uh, Alora and her ice arrows freezing guys in place so Kadok can shatter them, the levitation that Kadok can do to raise enemies up into the air and allow Alora to pick them off. Even the regeneration, when one of the two players goes down uh, but isn't dead, you can revive them, but you can do it from anywhere in the arena you have a line of sight to them by chucking a regen bile all the way across and bringing him back to life. On top of that, you battle charge me with lightning. I turn around with my spells and battle charge you. And this creates a spell link. You've got this giant cord, you're running, and any enemies that get in between that take massive amounts of damage. I think what we ended up with is a set of skills that'll really allow the players to kind of discover new ways to play the game. You can figure out a cool way to do something, you're like, yeah, that's awesome, I can't believe they let us do that. And we want that experience to be exactly the same in the single player game. I want to have that same dynamic. This game has not only done what we've said it's gonna do, but I think it's even gone beyond that. I think everybody really knows that we're making something special right now. The whole genesis of this game was trying to create something that's been in my imagination for 20 years, and I think we've definitely delivered on that.